it's monthly grocery shopping day. All right, today's gonna be a little crazy. We had some fun, exciting things kind of pop up. So instead of just going and doing my shopping all like in the morning, I am here at Walmart. There she is. And I'm gonna get myself at Walmart, then I'm gonna go home, and then we have some things that we're doing at home. And then I'm gonna head back out to Costco. Um, it's not ideal, it's not efficient, but it's just the way that we have to get things done. Um, there's really no other day for me to get my grocery shopping done this month. So, here we go. If you're new here, I'm Brittany and this is Pennies Into Pearls where you can come for weekly motivation and inspiration to live your dream life without having to stress about money. I am all about spending your money on things that you value most. I'm trying to figure out how to prioritize that spending. That's what I talk about here and I do monthly grocery shopping so I'm taking you guys in the store with me. Walmart, Costco today, we're buying everything that we need for an entire month that can last in your fridge, freezer, or pantry for at least 30 days. I'm kind of in a hurry this morning at Walmart so let's go. Before we get shopping, I forgot to let you know that this grocery haul is gonna be a little, we're gonna, let's call it healthy-ish. <laughs> so we are doing a, it's not a whole 30, but I am going to be cooking off of a Whole30 dinner plan. So all our dinners will be probably be like more Whole30-ish, but we're just trying to figure out how to have a more balanced diet. I hate the word diet, right? Because really what that means is just like what we're putting into our body. So making sure that we're having healthy fats, good protein, um, not too many carbs, just trying to like really live a healthier lifestyle. So trying to balance that with hubby and I transitioning and then also like with the kids trying to learn how to eat a little healthier as well which that's a trickier process so I'm gonna be sharing some of the healthier things we're buying and you'll see some things that aren't quite so healthy so it's like a balance thing first up Bolt House Farm um the cilantro avocado is good but I'm going for the cucumber ranch here's a look at the nutritional information anyways really low fat really low carbs um, and this cucumber one tastes really good. We're gonna get two things of Sara Lee plain bagels for $2.98 each. 38 ounces of Hunt's all natural ketchup for $2.78. I'm gonna try out this horseradish mustard. It's a great value brand. 12 ounces for 98 cents. Peppercini, uh, let's see. 16 ounces of pepperoncinis for $2.16. 16 ounces of jalapeno peppers for 216. 28 ounces of green enchilada sauce for 156. I'm actually gonna be getting four of these little four ounce jars of green chilies for 60 cents. There is the bigger one, um, but I need it for four different recipes this month. So I'm gonna get four little ones. Okay, these boxes are driving me crazy. They're hard to get hands out anyways. Okay, moving on. We're gonna do one can of pinto beans and one can of kidney beans. Those are both 48 cents each. One little can, six ounces of tomato paste for 47 cents. Okay, even though bone broth is more expensive, it has so much more protein in it than um, regular broth. So regular broth, beef broth has about two grams of protein per serving. This has seven grams of protein per serving. Um, it has a lot more like vitamins and such. So um, we're making the investment. So I'm buying two of these and they're a little over $2 each. And those are 32 ounces. And you'll see later that I am gonna be buying, um, that was beef bone broth. I'm gonna be buying chicken bone broth on that Costco because they sell that in bulk there. They don't sell the beef bone broth in stock at Costco. Two cans of pitted black olives for one twenty-three each. Two forty-four for forty-eight ounces of olive oil or vegetable oil. I'm gonna buy two of these boxes. It's a ten-pack of the strawberry oatmeal packets for one fifty-three, and one box of corn checks. It's a big family size. Let's see, it is eighteen ounces for three dollars. Or we're gonna get two cans of sliced pears. Those are one twelve each. Okay, this granola is delicious. We've tried the oats and dark chocolate and then just the oats and honey. They're $3.33, so it's a little more expensive. It's 11 ounces. Um, 
but again this with um, some Greek yogurt is a really yummy snack that'll fill your belly and give you some nutrients. I'm going to be getting two of each kind. 347 for 32 ounces of not vanilla plain Greek yogurt. This is a great substitute for sour cream and it has a little bit more nutrients in it than um, sour cream would and less fat. Now I'm also going to buy a few of these um, triple zero Oikos Greek yogurts. They're delicious. So I get the vanilla, um, the, the berry one, and then the coconut and banana ones are really good. So those are one dollar each. Again, an expensive investment, we'll call it. Um, but if you can find them in these four packs, it's a little bit cheaper um, per cup. I only need one of these cottage cheese packs, but, and I don't want to buy the off brand. So I'm going to pay $3.84 for two packs and then I'll just freeze the one that I'm not using. Okay, I'm going to maybe get the cottage cheese at Costco. I'm looking at the expiration date. It's good till February, so it'll last us all month. But I think at Costco it might be cheaper, so let's compare prices. This is 14 cents per ounce, so remember that and we'll go check Costco. Look at how interesting this is. The original whipped cream has one gram of fat per two tablespoons serving, and then this no sugar added one has two grams of fat per serving, zero carbs, one carb. So kind of interesting. Anyways, so 13 ounces of whipped cream for $2.98. Look what I found. Disinfectant. Cool. It's $4.98. Or no. It's $1.97, so I'm gonna buy two of these. No paper towels today at Walmart. All right, I am gonna buy some chewable children's ibuprofen, because what I realized is I have a good stock of like the liquid stuff, which I think works great, but sometimes I need them on the go and I don't have any like in my purse. So I'm gonna buy this. I think it's $6.97 for 48, yeah, that looks right. Um, and then I also am going to buy two more of these ibuprofens for $3.94. We are stocking back up on some gauze. Kennedy got in a, got a bad burn recently, so we're using that. And we're going to get um, one 100 pack of these band-aids. I need more than this, but um, I want to find a better, a better price somewhere. This 32 ounce thing of Jergens Ultra Healing Lotion seems to work the best on my kids. Like, what is it, eczema? But I don't love that it's not like natural ingredients. So if anyone has any suggestions on other products, let me know. 55 yards of floss for 97 cents. So we're gonna get two, two of these. 6.48 for a 6.73 ounce can of dry shampoo. 947 for the dewy finish nick setting spray 487 for dr teal's epsom salts okay this is everything i need from walmart we're gonna head to the checkout and i'll meet you in the car okay our grand total was 180 or no 175. this is now several hours later and I'm off to Costco. Let's go. Okie dokie. We are here at Costco. It's almost three o'clock on a Saturday. Ideal Costco shopping time. Oh man, you can really see where this mask has been today, huh? <laughs> Anyways, let's head into Costco. I'm gonna show you everything I got. Just the last couple months have been a little bit crazy and it's just not ideal Costco shopping time, but that's okay. We're making it happen. We're sticking to the meal plan. Did I let you guys know that I have a meal plan that goes along with this grocery haul? I'll leave a link down in the description. I provide a complete meal plan for the entire month, a complete grocery list, all of those things inside of my meal planning on a budget membership. It is just such a valuable tool to help you save time and get your meal planning done and it's gonna help you save a lot of money. So if you need help with your meal planning or you just want somebody to completely do it for you, go check that link. Yes, I'm so excited they have these at my Costco. So it's a three pack of 45 quart storage containers with latching lids for only $15.99. 
So I'm going to use these for um, quiet time bins. And each day, one kid can have one of them. Yes! Holy cow, this is an amazing deal, you guys. Laughing Cow Cheese. You get four packs for only $4.99. That makes them $1.25 each. You're going to pay about four bucks for just one of these at the grocery store. $17.59 for four pounds of 93% lean ground turkey. $4.99 for a rotisserie chicken for dinner tonight. I like to get a super easy dinner, so I'm gonna get this and then some pre-made mashed potatoes and a side salad for dinner tonight because monthly grocery shopping is a lot of work. Pre-mashed potatoes ready to just heat and serve. They're pretty good actually. Two packages of 32 ounces each for $6.79. $3.99 for a one pound tub of organic spring mix. And for $4.49 for a two and a half pound bag of spinach. I throw this in my freezer and then pull it out when needed. Okay, I wasn't planning on getting this, but look at these. $2.99 for these sweet gem lettuce heads. For $2.99. Those look good. Yum. Okay, I wanted carne asada, but it doesn't look like they have it. They only have pollo asada, but that's okay. $3.49 for about two pounds of carne asada. I think I'm going to get these for kids' snacks with some crackers. 16 cups for $11.99, and they freeze really well. $28.99 for 40 pounds of dog food. Snacks for the kids are on sale. Only $9.59 for the Lay's and Ruffles. Um, baked chips, 30 count. These are our favorite tortilla chips and they happen to be multi-grain and they're on sale for only $3.99, normally $6.49 for a giant 1.75 pounds. $7.79 for 40 ounces of wheat thins. $7.99 for 48 ounces of Cheez-Its. $9.79 for four pounds of organic strawberries frozen. Five pounds of Dino Buddies for $11.99. Oh man, I think I've always bought the Tyson antibiotic free chicken breasts. They're always cheapest, but I always check. Boneless, skinless chicken breasts are only $16.99. So one dollar, oh wait, let's pay attention. Six and a half pounds, so it's $2.60 per pound. Ooh, see, I almost got tricked. You get 10 pounds, only six pounds. Gotta pay attention to the labels. I almost got tricked. I wasn't planning on getting this, but then I thought this would be a fun like weekend treat. 20 grams of protein per serving. So $14.99 for two pounds. $9.69 for the all naturals turkey breast from Hillshire. It's three 11 ounce bags. This is a cool thing that I've never seen at Costco before. I'm not getting it, but it's monk fruit, which is a natural ingredient, a rotol, so I don't know what that is, and then monk fruit extract, four carbs per teaspoon. I don't know if that's good, but whenever I look at like um, healthier recipes, they always call for monk fruit. Interesting. Eight forty nine for a almost two pound bag. Seems like a good deal. Two two and a half pound bags of um, Mexican style blend cheese for fifteen ninety nine. I just freeze one of these and then um, we keep the other one in the fridge. All right, while I was in the freezer, I got two gallons of whole milk. That's about a little over $6 for those. We are going to be doing some egg whites to try to cut back on our fat intake this month. Um, so this is six cartons for about eight bucks. Then five dozen regular eggs for five bucks. And then I also got four pounds of butter for about nine bucks. $18.49 for two liters of avocado oil. Oh, our flour price went up. It's normally $5, $6.39 for a 25 pound. So it's only a dollar more for 25 pounds. Still a great price, but a little more expensive. And I'm actually buying two of them, one to use now and one for food storage. And I also need more sugar. So it's a 10 pound bag for $5.89. Another really great price. If you do cooking at home, this is one of the best investments you can make. It's only $4.50 for 
for 40 ounces of minced garlic. Let me see, when is the expiration date? February, 2022, so it's good for a year. And it takes me about a year to go through this. 11.69 for 72 ounces of Kodiak cakes, um, waffle and pancake mix. This is a great price and it's 14 grams of protein per serving. So it's gonna stay in those bellies a little longer and help everyone stay full longer. And my kids' absolute favorite syrup is this log cabin one and you get two 64 ounce jugs for only 6.99. So good. Organic dried pineapple, no sugar added. The only ingredient is organic dried pineapple. $14.99, I think this little asterisk means that they're probably not going to be putting it back on the shelf. I kinda wanna try it though. I'm sure, yeah, carbs are so high. I think I'm gonna try it. Cheerios are on sale, only $4.99 for two, or no, it's 55 ounces total. So that is a really good price. $3.79 for 24 count of burrito sized tortillas. We use these for quesadillas. I've never seen these here before. Low carb flour tortillas. They're still 15 carbs per tortilla. Let's compare them. Okay. 15 carbs or 19 carbs. So not much of a difference. Here's a little lesson really quick. So I was thinking, oh, I'm going to get the sandwich thins because there'll be less carbs. So there's 28 carbs for one roll. And then the English muffins are 28 carbs for one roll. So the exact same, five protein, six protein, two fats, one fat. So it's pretty much exactly, exactly the same. Interesting, huh? Except these are whole wheat, so there's probably more nutrients that way, but my kids like these. These rice ramen noodles are really great for making your own homemade ramen with bone broth, way less sodium. Still a lot of carbs, but it's great for a healthier alternative, and it's only $7.99 for um, 12 of those ramen noodles. Okay, I stopped because I saw this healthy choice chicken noodle soup made with bone broth. 22 grams of protein, that's awesome. But then when you look at the nutritional facts, there's still 480 milligrams of sodium per one cup. So you're gonna eat more than that. And that is almost a third of your day's intake of salt. Seems kind of high to me, but I'm no professional, just my opinion. Amazing price, thick 32 ounce containers of bone broth for $16.99. Ten-year-old kid, probably. I was moving this part out of the way. I'm like, oh, thank you. And he's like, no problem, young lady. Oh, well, thank you. Three seventy-nine for two gallons of vinegar. We use this in our laundry. It's also a great backup if you run out of disinfectant stuff. You know, I forgot to catch you up. So I did get some low-fat cottage cheese here at Costco. Remember, it was fourteen cents per ounce at Walmart. It was nine cents per ounce. Not quite, but almost half the price here at Costco. So cool. Now here's the thing you might be thinking like, it's not that big of a deal. But then if you pay attention to these things, they do add up and it's probably going to save you a good amount of money if you pay attention. Oh man, they don't have the collagen? No! $7.99 for 57 ounces of graham crackers. Look at this, I'm pretty excited. I've been seeing these JoJo's all over Instagram and now they have them at Costco. I don't know if I'm gonna buy them, but cool. It's $9.99 for how many are in here? 14 bars. Special treat for the kids. I just like 12 dollars for 48 count. Alrighty. Here is everything we're getting from Costco. It's a full load. Let's head to checkout. Woohoo! The sun is going down, that's for sure. All right, so that went well. Um, we are spending a little more than normal. So the grand total for everything, let me see. So that was five. 50, around $550 for all of our food and all of our miscellaneous. So that is complete groceries um, for the month with the exception of fresh produce and milk, which we have a $35 budget per week that we get that fresh. You know, fresh veggies just taste better when they're fresh. Just saying. Anyways, thanks for coming shopping with me. I love taking you guys along with me. Um, I love to hear what you're finding at your Costco especially, but what else are some of your family's like grocery staples um, or something fun that you were able to find this month um, when you're doing your grocery shopping? Leave all of that down in the comments. I love chatting with you guys. 
And also, I'm so excited about our meal planning in a budget membership. Um, now that we have two different options for you guys, we're getting such great feedback from you guys. Um, and I love seeing how much money it's saving you guys. I mean, we are saving as a community like hundreds of thousands of dollars every year together. So our family alone saves thousands every year just by doing this. And the cool part is you get to choose what you're gonna do with that money. Right now our family has different priorities. We're trying to save for a van. Um, we also wanna do a few road trips this coming year, so. I don't know. So it's just one of those little things that you can tweak and do that eliminates so much stress and helps you save so much money. And if you need help figuring out how to do all this on a budget, meal planning on a budget membership is there for you to check out. It's um We have two different options. One is $5 a month and one is $10 a month. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye.